Brother Polite. Arm yourself or harm yourself. I hear you motherfuckers out there talking. I ain't ever been really much of a talking though. I'm Brother Polite. In real life, I'm nigga polite, but in Yo, I'm brother polite online. I'm always going to be positive and respectful to everybody online, but I want you guys to understand something about me real quick. A lot of you guys credit a shot. So I got to help put the vest on. You know, I ain't talking to you about no gangster shit, man. Come on now. I wouldn't incriminate myself like that. <laughs> but listen to this, man. Take a look at this. I love hip hop. But when it comes to credit, it's about heavy metal. And just salute to Harriet Tubman. Anytime I think somebody on the racist tip of things, I might just, just say, you know, it ain't a black card special today. Let me just swipe this black card. We're going to get this thing going. I really want to talk to you guys. Arm yourself or harm yourself. Talk to me nice. I hear all the talk out there, man. I hear all the talk. But what we're not going to do what we're not going to do is act like we don't have more important things to do in our world right now, right? So what I'm not going to do is get you into gossip and rumors and violence when we have real situations going on. Like right now, we got the Fed app about to take place. All right, Fed now. All right, and they're ushering in the world without money. Many of you don't know about real money because the money that we're using right now is acting under the color of law. So the money that we use now is called colorable, okay? So when we talking about colorable money, we talking about money that's not properly backed. Like you go to Article 1, Section 8, Clause uh, 14 and 15, United States Constitution, you see the money needs to be backed by standard measures and weights and uh, balances. So all this merely means is that you should get something in exchange for your money. So if you go to House Joint Resolution, March 9th, 1933, HJR 192, you're going to realize that they took the gold and silver away from the people. Before, your money used to have certificate on it. Now it has Federal Reserve note, note as in a debt obligation. So it used to say silver certificate or gold certificate. Why? Because you were able to turn in your $10 and get silver in exchange. You was able to turn in your $50 or your $100 and get gold in exchange. Nobody expected you to carry a bunch of heavy ass gold and then cut it into pieces so you could ration it out to buy a piece of bread or to buy a car. So that amount of money would be reserved in the bank and in proportion, you would have an attestation to your ownership and equity in the form of that certificate. Because what is a certificate? A certificate, right? Or what is a security? Because you have Q-SIP on your dollar bills. A, sec a security is a paper certificate that attests the ownership and equity as in the case of a stock or ownership of a bond as in the case of a debt obligation which has tradable derivatives. So your attestation of equity was represented by you having money that was considered to be certificates, not Federal Reserve notes. July 4th, they're bringing in the Fed Now app, which is going to incur the stress of limitations on paper money. It is the beginning of the paperless society. And that's going to implicate a lot of you people who haven't taken fixing your credit more serious. Okay? So I just want to teach you guys about some money. Remember, go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com when you're ready to purchase my $2,000 mentorship. And in the interim of that mentorship, we'll help build your credit, boost your credit. And we're not just talking about transgender and sparing the Equifax. We're talking about the 30 different credit bureaus and institutions that have an impact and say on whether or not you can be approved for monies you don't have to pay, be approved for larger sums of monies, better credit cards with less Implications like let me give you an example of what I'm talking about real quick. Let me give you an example. You see this one right here? The X1 credit card, smart credit card. Only 350,000 people in the world, maybe a little bit more, have access to this. This is a smart credit card. I could turn off credit reporting. I could turn off credit reporting on a smart credit card. I can also do what? Not only can I turn off credit reporting. There's no late fees on this credit card and no foreign transaction fees. So imagine a credit card that you can get that has no late fees and you can turn off credit reporting. Now you're looking at an investment vehicle in your hand. Because if I have $20,000, $30,000 or more available to me and I could turn off credit reporting and I don't get any late fees, that means I can invest this money 
the way I need to and get a return without the implication of a typical loan. You want to get access to that. We're helping people get anywhere between 50 grand and 300 grand that they don't have to pay back. You say, how is that possible? Because you got stuff called the employee retention credit where you can get each person that's an employee of your business $26,000 at a time. You also have the Family First Coronavirus Relief Act, right? Family First, FF, Coronavirus, right? Coronavirus Relief Act, FFCRA. The Family First Coronavirus Relief Act, where you can get an ag in an aggregate, what? $5,110 or even $10,000 per family. Okay, so as an individual, you do at least $5,000 and as a family do $10,000 if you've been impacted by the coronavirus anywhere between April 1st and December 30th of 2020. If it somehow slowed down your money as an individual or impacted you on a family scale, you got $15,000 out there that you don't have to pay back. So when people say, how the hell is Polite able to get people money that they don't have to pay back? That's a scam. That's a fraud. That's a lie. You can only do that if it's grants, but there's plenty of monies that's available to people. And again, if you're going to do the employee retention credit, that's not based on 1099. That's based on W-2 employees. But Brother Ply, I don't got no business set up. We can help you with the business structure. But Brother Ply, I don't have the years in business nor the income that came into my business to qualify for some of these programs that you don't have to pay back. Well, then we can help you with a shelf corp corporation. Where it's almost like when you use somebody else's credit and leverage it for your very own to build credit for yourself, trade lines. You can also do this with history. You can use previous business history and leverage it for your very own and then be approved for monies based on the criteria of the same. So in the mentorship program, what we're essentially doing is helping you get access to six figures at a time that you don't have to pay back. We're also getting you a caseworker a caseworker that's going to deal with your credit needs exclusively and immediately. We're also going to get you a website where you could see the deleted items as we remove them, the positive items as we add them. And you also can add notifications to your phone so you can see what we're doing on your behalf as we're working for you. And keep in mind, those of you that say, well, I got good credit. A lot of you got so-called good credit, but you cannot get. A lot of you got so-called good credit, but you cannot get what? You cannot get $100,000 or $200,000 or $300,000, whether you have to pay it back or not. But you got so-called good credit. The reason behind that is, is all the other credit bureaus that exist, all the other credit bureaus that exist, that you don't know about. So most of you only know about TransUnion, Spare, and Equifax. You probably tell me something about FICO. But do you know about Sage Stream? Hmm? Do you know about Core Logics? Do you know about LexisNexis? Do you know about check systems? See, I just gave you some games so you can look up and you can say, oh, sweat, these people can impede on your ability to get approved of loans or large dollar amounts, opportunities, homes, cars, just because you got, what, child support or because you've been evicted or they even let people know what you've been making in your bank account and how much money you don't have left after the total sum per month and per annual. Did you know that you being held accountable for making X amount of money and not leaving X amount of money into your bank account? Did you know that? That people are reporting what's in your damn bank account? Yeah, he's making $5,000 a month, but he's living check to check damn near. So he only has about, on an average, $400 to $800 available after the total $5,000 he or she makes per month. That's being used against you. So you can't get credit cards with larger lines of credit. It's being used against you so you can't get approved of monies that you don't have to pay back $50,000, $100,000 at a time. Let me show you guys something. I'll show you how to do this, son. Your credit is shot. Right? And that's why I'm showing you. Arm yourself or harm yourself. I'm going to give you guys the vest to repair your credit. You feel me? Oh, don't worry. I'm never going to do something to incriminate myself on the internet. I'm brother polite on the internet. Not nigga polite. Walk with me. Let me show you something. Let me show you how to do this, son. <clears throat> you guys remember a few months ago, I said, watch me work. And I bought this for $1,000. He said, the Negro in his Miami house, see this art, this is all money. 
And remember, if you hear an echo, people are like, man, why are you not yelling when you're on the phone? Polite, why you don't yell? We got a house so big, it yelled for me because it's an echo. Because look how high the ceilings are. You should be happy for me, man. Look at, this, look at the high ceilings. You should be happy for me. I mean, I remember you niggas were saying Airbnb six years ago. And six years later, I'm still here, huh? <clears throat> More art. But look at this. This is my favorite video game. I bought this for $1,000. You say polite. You bought it for $1,000. You're a gamer. Not necessarily. I said, I bought this because I set up a new LLC. And I said, watch me make this $1,000 investment. Watch me leverage this arcade that I paid $1,000 for. Watch me make it, make me over $100,000. Because what I did, I used my personal name, right, as a manager and agent for my newly erected LLC, and in purchasing this arcade, it was a nine, it was represented as a $1,000 trade line. And because it wasn't just any trade line, this is important, people don't use this terminology. Let's say primary trade line. This is a $1,000 primary trade line. And because I bought this $1,000 arcade, I didn't buy a $1,000 arcade just in itself. This represents, this is how a $1,000 primary trade line looks. And notice I said primary. Let's see what we prefix to the term, trade line, primary. So what to you looks like a uh, arcade, what to you, you realize is $1,000 for this arcade, to me represents a $1,000 trade line. So don't, primary trade line. So don't call this an arcade no more. Call this Street Fighter machine the manifestation of a $1,000 primary trade line. And what I was able to do is use my personal name, Michael Noak, as a managing agent. That's the only reason I use my personal name. I used it as a managing agent in my course and leveraged that relationship with my LLC as like a voucher, so to speak. So I can get approved. I got approved of $113,000 by investing $1,000, not into an arcade, but into a $1,000 primary trade line. Talk to me nice. And I did it right before your eyes. And those of you that are students of mine, you see the whole process. But remember a couple months ago when I first bought it, I told you, watch me make this make me at least $100,000. And it made me a hundred and uh, just a little under $113,000. Talk to me nice. <laughs> it's all about knowing what to do. So that's what makes the mentorship so dope. Make sure you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com when you're ready to invest your $2,000. Only when you're ready to invest your $2,000 in, in the mentorship service, leave your full name and your phone number only when you're ready to turn it up and make money and become a master of your own destiny because I'm telling you, come July 4th, you're going to start seeing life change significantly for the worse for those of you that haven't prepared yourself for all the things that I've been saying. I can show you better than I can tell you. Heavy metal. People talk, they talk, but they don't show you the results. I talk my talk. I give you game. I give you the knowledge. Take a look at this, man. <clears throat> Takashi Mary Kush. Okay? Look at that. I said Mary Kush. I'm thinking about Moors in Morocco. Marikami. <laughs> Takashi Marikami. What is this? Well, here's another piece before we go there. We walk around here. <clears throat> another piece by Takashi Marikami. Take a look at this one. Takashi Marikami. And so this is an artist, right? And, and the record is actually inside there. So when I first got these paintings, I paid $5,000. Boom. Boom. Both these bitches over $20,000 in value right now. Ha! <clears throat> but why would I do these type of investments? Takashi Marikami. Huh? This is the guy that was part of the Louis Vuitton collaboration. Okay? The Skittle looking one. This is the guy that worked with Kanye West on graduation. The graduation album. Takashi Marikami. I spent five bands. Five bands. And each one worth over 20000 This was purchased at Art Basel. This one right here. Y'all ain't see this one. Last time I gave y'all a tour, y'all ain't see this one. Okay? 
This is made by Jay Mar uh, Ramirez, right? And guess what? I'm say it like this. Spent a few thousand under ten thousand for it at Art Basel some years back. Years back. Guess what? Guess what the buying price is right now? Well, the highest bid right now is one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. Jay Ramirez. Hmm? See them shades? That's why you know it look. It looked like some shit I'd be on. You feel me? The oversized glasses with. The, hey, you feel me? You see? Hey, one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. Spent less than five bands at Art Basel for it. But you might say, well, that's cool. It just appraises for more. But this is the thing. This, let's, let's call this $200,000. Okay, so if this was a matter of taxes, 10% of 200000 is 20000 which means 5% of that is what? 10000 right? <clears throat> so remember 10000 So the tax man wants 35%. Of what you bringing in, bare minimum. So the tax man, if I put two hundred thousand dollars into the bank right now, the tax man is going to want at least thirty five percent of the two hundred thousand. Well, we know ten percent of two hundred thousand is twenty, so ten percent three times, which is thirty percent, is twenty, forty, sixty, and then we know half of ten percent in this particular scenario would be five percent, which would represent ten thousand dollars. So we know the tax man wants seventy thousand dollars if I put two hundred thousand dollars in the bank. Leaving me with $130,000. But if I have $200,000 on the wall in the form of a painting that can appraise for more, I keep the whole $200,000. Did you just hear what I say? If I decide to liquidate, if I put the $200,000 in the bank, guaranteed I got to come off on $70,000. 35% of that, minimum. But if I leave the $200,000 on the wall in the form of the painting, I still have $200,000. Hmm? So, <clears throat> if I buy this paint for $5,000 and this paint for $5,000, now I'm at $20,000, $20,000. So it's $40,000 there. So we're looking at damn near two hundred and forty dollars just right there, almost a quarter million dollars. They will want 35% of a quarter million dollars if I put that in the bank. So we're essentially talking about damn near $90,000 <clears> in or around how the tax man want to behave. But if you know what you're doing, family, there's ways called tax shelters and, you know, there's just different things that you can do to save you money. But guess what? We never believe we'll amass the type of wealth to need to know this information. I teach this information because I know by the time I get you funding that you got to either pay back, funding that you don't have to pay back, credit cards that you can turn off the credit reporting and you don't get late fees for, I know you're going to come into a certain amount of wealth where you'll be able to make more money in the future by investing. And me knowing this would be irresponsible not to mentor you in the plethora of ways that you can amass wealth by investing. And then you'll also have to know, well, how could I defer taxes or make them obsolete legally? And of course, I will always suggest to you, I have no degrees whatsoever. I'm a ninth grade dropout. Always consult a financial advisor of some sort, a CPA, accountant, somebody who is credentialed to cross-reference anything that I'm talking about to make sure that it's legitimate because I can be in error because after all, I'm a ninth grade dropout. Let's keep going on, shall we? <clears throat> Let's keep going. Exhibit B. Now, let me stop. This is inspired. This is an inspired piece by Botero. Plata or plomo? Silver or lead? Get down or lay down. This Pablo Escobar piece weighs in at over $10,000. My goodness. I should really put it more towards 20000 To the naked eye, it's just a fat man depiction. But to an educated eye, we're looking at damn near $20,000, baby. Give me a round of applause. The money is on the wall. The money is on the wall. <clears throat> 
All insured, all the, all the praise. You come in here, if you're a smart criminal, you steal the paintings and you make sure you don't damage them. So that means if you came in here to steal, you would have wrapping paper, bubble wrap. You really have to take your time with your robbery because the real money is all over the walls. But no, they will probably try to steal the gun, the vest, the beats by Dre because Negroes are so fucking uneducated about what you take. This is by cause, okay? Uh-huh, we going over 50 bands here. Don't sleep on this one up here. Like, come on now, talk to me nice. <clears throat> talk to me nice. You know I love the Nipsey art. You saw the one over there. You see this right here. This is what we do. Solomon Saltos. Come on. Solomon Saltos. He be bodying this. You know we got to have the guard up in here. Salute to the king. You know, these are the things by the same artist too. The Muhammad Ali. Solomon Santos. Come on now. Come on now, talk to me nice. This is what I do, you heard? <clears throat> this is what I do. Look at this, Brooklyn Bridge. We're gonna keep you up here. Brooklyn Bridge, baby. You know I'm from Brooklyn, huh? So it's only right, we got the guard up here, Biggie Smalls. This piece is made by Wilkinson. Salute, B.I.G., baby. B.I.G. Hey, look, 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 how, look how the back y'all look, man. See, when you got shit you got to lose, you got to behave like it, baby. You got to behave like you got something to lose. And those of you who feel like you don't got nothing to lose, it, it manifests in your behavior. Huh? Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. You know, I just can't, you just can't make this shit up. <laughs> and again, the echo is due to the, mostly due in part to the fact that it's high ceilings. But you know what's interesting? Let's talk about how we raise the value of the real estate. Damn, I wonder if we can see the large missile impact rated. God damn, windows that can absorb the shock of a large missile impact. What the? Wow. But that's really because of tornadoes and shit like that. Not really that we looking to block large missile impact. But it's just good to know if this shit start getting spooky out here, you know, nigga, safe. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's catch that right there. <laughs> Missile's good enough for large missile impact. I mean, a window that can absorb the shock of a large missile impact. But the reason why that's so very important is because putting these windows, installing these type of windows into the property upgraded the property uh we just we just you know got it appraised again it actually let's just say we made the property worth fifty thousand dollars plus more okay let's just say that it raised the property value because yes eventually the goal is to buy to sell you know what i'm saying yep i'm in the miami crib it's a beautiful day to be alive yeah, it's for like hurricanes and shit like that. It's not really for missiles. It's just good to know. Because, I mean, shit. It's good to know. I mean, if, it, if shit ever hit the fan, I mean, at least I, I, I would, how far could I go hammering some damn wood against the windows? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's be for real right here. You know what I mean? The reason people get mad at me, man, I'm going to tell, tell you the biggest secret why people get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to say this nice and low. You know what I'm saying? So you can listen, be more attentive. It's the fucking Rolls Royce. It's, it's, do we need to go out there and see that? <laughs> no, stop. And it's not just the car, man. You're a threat to the insecure and to society for your brilliance. All of you out there that have managed to figure out how to decode any system, all of you that just show that you have the ability or the potential to decode the system, you are a threat to society, to insecure people that don't feel confident about themselves, people with low self-esteem. A lot of us are the threats. When you, start, when you start seeing things like this and other people recognize it as an arcade, and you say, oh, no, that's not an arcade. That's a primary trade line that costs $1,000. When you start flipping the matrix and you see things different, when I saw this, I did not see a Street Fighter Special Edition arcade. I saw a $1,000 primary trade line 
that I can leverage by using me as a manager and agent for my LLC and thereby uh, amass $113,000 in money. But I was only anticipating getting 100000 and I wound up up to 113000 And that was a few months ago I did this. You can actually look this stuff up and say, yo, polite don't be bullshitting. You can do it yourself, the stuff that I tell you about. I give you points and references and everything. But if you're ready to be mentored by me, you can do this stuff yourself. If you're ready to be mentored by me, soak up all of that game. Get access to six figures and funding. Get access to better credit cards. Boost your credit scores throughout all the bureaus, not just TransUnion, Sparing, and Equifax, but also deal with LexisNexis, Check Systems, SageStream, CoreLogics, and the host of the rest of them all, the CDAs, the consumer data aggregates. Get you a caseworker that deals with your credit needs exclusively and immediately. Get me at your disposal as your mentor. huh? Get the website where you can actually check for the deleted items as we remove them and check for that positive items as we add them. And also, let's not forget, you can add notifications to your phone to the point you get annoyed of seeing how much work we're doing for you. Who the hell does that? People say they fix credit, but they never tell you we can get you access to funds. People say they fix credit, but they never give you a caseworker. People say they fix credit, but they never give you a mentor. People say they fix credit, but they never give you a system where you can track your results. People say they fix credit, but they never give you a notification system that you want to turn off on your phone because you're trying to get sleep, but you realize that John Nunez or myself or any one of the other caseworkers is still working on your behalf. It's $2,000. I don't want to hear the complaint. But why is it $2,000? My nigga, I put $1,000 into a machine and that bitch spit out 113 grand. And that was one magic trick. And that means if I was able to do that with one company, would I be able to do that with two? Or would I be able to do that with three? And would I be able to do that with four? Would I be able to do that with five? Absolutely. But if I told you guys I can make y'all into millionaires, y'all would think so small of yourselves. You see yourself as so insignificant and unworthy of being a master of your own destiny that your mind will automatically have you in a conundrum. You already would be confounded. You already be bewildered. You already be befuddled at the very idea that someone could suggest that you yourself can have seven figures in the bank, a million dollars plus. So I have to talk small talk with you and say, if you pay $2,000, I can get you access to anywhere around 50 grand and up. I have to talk bullshit like that just to try to keep it within a range of lawsuit money when you get hit by a car or fake SSI checks or when you claim Day Day and Ray Ray on your taxes, I have to say it in increments that make you feel comfortable because if I tell you the real deal, you're going to say this nigga's lying. How the hell can I, how can he make me a millionaire? He probably ain't a millionaire himself. He's just trying to sell me on something. Huh? You're so smart. I wish your name wasn't blemished. You don't have to worry about my name being blemished. Just use that which you identify as being smart. <clears throat> What's the end game? The end game is to make money. To be a master of your own destiny. To not struggle when it comes time to take care of your children. To be able to give your friends, your family, your well wishes, your advocacy, your significant other, that which they are deserving of. As you deal with the pressures day to day of paying bills or living check to check. When you work a nine to five, you're working eight hours. When you go to work, it's probably an hour to go to work. When you come back from work, it's probably an hour coming back from work. That's 10 hours. And everybody, they suggest that they sleep eight hours a day. But most of us sleep at least on an average six hours, which means what? 16 hours out of 24, which means two thirds of your life is dedicated to working for somebody else and building their dreams, goals and aspirations up. And you get one third of your life left that you got to consolidate into what? Cooking, cleaning, meditating, praying, reading, studying, socializing, time with your significant other, vacationing. And in fact, it's not possible to cram or consolidate all those things into eight hours. So you have to make sacrifice. So you're going to sacrifice your reading, your meditation, your contemplation. Maybe you just pray one day out the week or not enough time that you would like to, you won't be able to vacate but once or twice out the year. That's no life for nobody. Why did you wake up? Most of you only woke up today to wash your ass so you could go work for somebody else. Why did you eat breakfast so you could have the energy so you could work for someone else to build their dream? Why did you eat lunch? Because you grew fatigue 
after working for someone else to build their dream that you needed some nourishment, some nutrition so you could build yourself up so you could continue building someone else's dream. And why did you eat dinner? Because after lunch, you continue building someone else's dream. And by the time you got back home, you were exhausted and fatigued again. And you needed to build your nourishment back up again so you could have enough energy to go to sleep, to wake up and wash your ass. Not because you wanted to wash your ass, because it would be the right thing to do to go to work to build someone else's dream. And you're doing this two thirds of your lifetime because a nine to five is eight hours to go to work, probably an hour to come back from work, probably an hour is 10 hours to go to sleep, six hours, 16 hours, two thirds of your life. So the person that asks why the end goal is to get you out of the one third. So, or pardon me, to get you out the two thirds, the two thirds of your life being dedicated to building someone else's dream. That's the purpose of this particular stream. Arm yourself, fix your credit. Build it up because the real players is using insurance, real estate monies, and credit leveraging to amass wealth. They're not saving check after check and putting the monies under the bed. They're not doing that. Go to Brother P O L I G H T at gmail.com. Leave your full name and your phone number. When you're ready to amass wealth and change your financial paradigm. Okay? And I know a lot of us got short attention spans. It's a shame what has happened to the black community. Where you don't realize that the subject matter is becoming a master of your own destiny, but the subject matter is about credit. You're not going to get me to deviate from the premise of this particular conversation. You have so many different channels that you can go to to listen to people who think they know about me. When you come over here to me, we're gonna talk about things that can uplift you and build you up. We're not gonna talk about things that can't uplift you or build you up. Be careful how you utilize your time because it's that very time you're gonna reflect on when your life is in despair, you're gonna say, I wish I utilized my time better. I wish I acclimated myself to the knowledge therewith so I can do better for my friends, my family, and loved ones. <clears throat> okay? So let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Oh, thank y'all, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Someone said, why should I take your credit advice? Uh, never actually take the credit advice. I actually to take the information that I'm sharing, look it up and see if what I'm saying is true. See what you can make applicable for yourself. And if you want the mentorship from me, you can. You can spend your money and you get a full service job. But you don't have to go to me. Just do something with yourself to improve your personal disposition. I mean... The purpose of this stream is to educate and to share knowledge that is needed and necessary. It's the purpose. If you came on a stream not to learn, then you should go fulfill your purpose elsewhere because unfortunately you have to learn when you get on these streams. Let's make it make sense, people. People are using their time to tear down someone instead of using the same time to be positive somewhere else, says arc.lo. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. But yes, we go to Brother P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com when you're ready to spend your $2,000 to get access to six figures, to get access to a caseworker that's going to deal with your credit exclusively and immediately, to get access to me as your mentor, which it is a mentorship program. To get access to the website to see the deleted items as we remove them and the positive items as we add them. Arm yourself or harm yourself. Because the world is getting more and more difficult by the day. <clears throat> arm yourself or harm yourself. If you hold the screen, it might pause. Yeah. <clears throat> arm yourself or harm yourself. Protect yourself at all times. That's what they say in boxing, right? Protect yourself at all times. 
But you know, this is just a metaphor. I would pray none of you ever have to use any real act of violence to protect yourself. This is just a metaphor. You know, I always protect myself at all times, so I'm I'm just not the type to get caught lacking. But in this day and time that we live in, this is the way you protect yourself in this day and time. This is how you protect yourself in 2023 going into 2024. You have to make sure you're in the right position. Pause. Because that Fed now app is, is here. The Cash App guy got jukes up and they making it sound like he just was in some nigga shit and, and somebody stabbed him up because of some boyfriend, girlfriend crisis. Like, I know nigga shit when I hear it. You sold that story to us so we could just be unsuspecting that the Cash App guy gets murdered and then the Fed app comes in as the new Cash App. And hey guys, you don't need money like that. If you check Europe and all these other places, they're already giving people limits on how much cash money they can spend now. No more than $1,000 spending. You could use your, their version of Fed now out there. Like listen, all this means for people who don't have good credit, where we can't no longer stash paper money under the mattress, <clears throat> where they officially can do accounting for everything you have coming in and out, the people whose credit is the worst are gonna suffer the most. They're bringing this app in July 4th. But um, y'all do what you want with the information. You can preoccupy your minds with things that don't necessarily concern you, but bring, that piques your interest. Or you can start preoccupying your minds with things that can immediately affect you and your family for the better good before it's too late. The worst thing that can happen is that you find out you should have been paying attention. And typically, by the time that happens, it's normally too late. I'm Brother Polite. This is an episode, another episode of Arm Yourself or Harm Yourself. When a practice gun safety, you always put your fingers over here, you don't know what stop. <laughs> but listen, 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 listen. Hey, a lot of you guys credit the shot. I'm bringing you the bulletproof vest. It's time to get on offense. It's time for us to start shooting. That's why I told you about adding positive items. Most of you only, want, most of you only learned about defensive mechanisms for deleting negative items off your report. But did you know you can take something like your rent that you pay every month or your mortgage every month and you can add that to the credit reports and boost your credit scores up 50 or more points. Many of you are, have bad credit scores, right? Many of you are 30, 40 points away from being able to get the car you want or get the house you want. And unbeknown to you, if you just was to properly add a positive item to your credit report, like the rent you pay every month or the mortgage you pay every month, Unbeknown to you, you can get 50 points for that. But no one's telling you this because they'd rather tell you gossip than tell you something that can help you feed your family or empower your family. Check me out on it. These are facts. I just get facts. I play around a lot because I'm happy. But I get facts. That's all it is. Talk to me nice. Ah, uh, uh-huh. BrotherPolite45 at gmail.com. That's pride, optimism, love, integrity, out. Um, uh, pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. P O L I G H T. Go to brother P O L I G H T forty five at gmail dot com. Eluval, perpetual success. Hotep Wild Battle Cat, peace and blessings. And a sweetie daughter, Black Power.